Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Saturday the 4th and today was a lovely beautiful day outside. Got this morning a little earlier than I really wanted to but not as bad as when the puppy's coming so we got a little bit of sleep in. Let the dogs out, um, got them all settled in, got them played with a little bit. Um, we chilled around a little bit for the day, kind of had a few things to get taken care of. Ran over and fed the cats which I do at like usually eight o'clock in the morning and sometimes between four and six in the afternoon. Um, got that taken care of. Um, the door worked fine this time, which was crazy. So couldn't get in at the door of the day. So I just locked just the handle, not the deadbolt. And it sounds like he's gonna replace that. So it should make it easier going forward in the future. So hopefully that works out. So went ahead, um, got a couple of random things from the house done, nothing real major. We decided to go do a little bit of hot tub shopping. We was gonna run down to Melbourne and the shop hours were listed three different ways, three different places, and including like their answer machine. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna risk that. Instead of waiting around, because I already kind of plan on leaving right now. So I said to held it right up to Daytona instead to Tanger Outlet. They had a big um, blowout hot tub sale thing, whatever, which I know it was more like a home show with a bunch of local shops set up and sell tubs there where you have local people or it's just a random one crew coming through. Turned out to be just the one crew coming through selling their own brand of hot tubs. And I'm not real big on that. Like their prices were not any cheaper anywhere else. So why would I buy from somebody who I'm paying damn near the same price for a brand new hot tub as I do a local shop that has a local repairman that I can actually walk in the door and be like, hey, why haven't you come fix my stuff yet? So went ahead, um, dealt with that whole fun part of it. Um, very unimpressed with their layout. They had nothing priced. It was all this, just, it was a bunch of crap. So gave up on it, um, looked up on the internet, some of their local hot tub shops, uh, found one called Sea Salt or Salt something, other, I don't know what it was called. Went there, dude was super nice, um, not pushy, not like, didn't feel swarmy at all. I was really impressed with that. And they only have a few left in stock because of COVID. A lot of stuff ain't getting produced. A lot of people are buying hot tubs because they still can't go out. They can't do a lot of other things. So inventory is pretty limited. They had one there I liked a lot. It's like 17 grand. But I can't bring myself quite to drop $17,000 right now on a hot tub because I found a new house that I think we kind of want. And it's like 330. So, and 330 is really over our budget. Uh, we have no business buying a house at 330. But if I basically just throw like an extra, you know, like put 60 grand down. I'll bring the payment down to like the $1,700 mark, which I think we can swing that. And the big thing is the house ain't that great, but the yard is a full acre plus. So um, yeah, that's kind of a, that's a dream right there. It's an acre plus of land, which is a big deal. Still technically in the city limits, although it's on a little dead end street south of town there, about five miles, but five miles south of my house. So I had a little bit of drive time to a few of my customers that are coming to drop off their dogs and stuff and whatnot. But I'm hoping that seeing the fact that's over an acre of land and I'm gonna have a big, I'll fence in a big chunk of that. So they'll have a lot more run, a lot more activity, a lot less neighbors, dogs to bark and all that kind of stuff. I'm hoping I'll offsell, offset the point of driving an extra few miles. So, and the one guy who does the daily four days a week thing, he works down there at Boston Whaler. So it'll be probably actually less driving for him than what it is driving all the way off of A1A to get there, US1, sorry, US1 to get to my place and back over to US1 to get to work. So hoping that works for both of us and we'll see, but can't drop 17 grand right now and then put me short. I still have the money. I just, it wouldn't have as much money set back aside to fix up the house I'm in now. And the stock market has been taking a tank lately because this whole new um, virus strain that's going out that's got everybody scared and the market's tanking down. So I've lost like, I don't know, about 12,000 bucks there as well. So that's never a good thing, but I'm not selling it. So I haven't really lost anything there yet, but kind of makes it a little bit on the nervous side of buying a hot tub. So I had another BDM that recommended his brother how to work to a, a hot tub shop. They have one in Daytona, I went to talk to them and just did not get a good feeling from her. I didn't enjoy, she didn't seem like she wanted to answer my questions. Like she was just like, she didn't want to tell me like what the price and stuff were. I'm like, she wanted me to tell her what my budget was. And I'm like, oh shit, my budget was like 125,000 bucks, but I'm not dropping that on a hot tub. So, I mean, I can write a check for that, but why would I, you know, this makes no sense. Just why are you pricing me, not the items? It doesn't make sense to me. So, and I kept asking her about things like salt water instead of the chlorine in that. And 
she was like, oh, you don't want that. It's going to be this and this and this and just and dump. I'm like, well, how about you ask me why I want it? Maybe I'm allergic to chlorine. You don't know me. You don't know what's going on here. You know, you're just immediately telling me what you want to sell me that you have right here as opposed to what I actually want to have. So well, who knows? It is what it is. But yeah, went ahead, um, got back from there, hung around with the dogs for a little while, um, chilled out, went and got my run in, got back um, from the run. I had to go feed the cats. I kind of I was gonna do it on the run. I forgot to take the key with me, so I couldn't go do it on the run. So it is what it is there. But went ahead and got back from there. My wife had ran up to do some grocery shopping for her father, who's in assisted living and doesn't have a car anymore. So she went and got a bunch of snacks and sodas and stuff for him. She also had to go by her son's place to help him figure out his insurance and whatnot to answer a bunch of questions online, which courses do like Monday, Tuesday. But why he waits till Friday to ask her for her help, I have no damn idea. But it is what it is there. So she got back on the way back. She stopped in and grabbed a pizza from Mellow Mushroom, which we'd never eaten at before. Really good stuff. Not cheapest, like 30 bucks for a large, but it was good. Um, we ended up knocking it out between Karen and my mom and I. The three of us ended up knocking out the pizza. It was it was enough like fresher tomatoes and stuff. I didn't think it was going to microwave well. So I ended up just kind of finishing off. A little more I should have, but it is what it is. So headed outside after that. We watched a movie actually, um, Power of the Dog weird kind of a slow roll movie um a lot of nuances if you kind of pay attention it kind of led up to the final plot of the of the game of how it all played down and stuff and broke out but overall really it was it's a strange movie i think it'd be actually one of those good ones to go back and watch a second time to see all the nuances that you might have missed in the first time but there's a lot of little things you don't pick up on like oh because he said this that's why this happened because that happened there this is what's happened now kind of thing so it makes a difference but yeah it was a good movie um kind of knew where the plot was going wasn't exactly sure where it was going to go but kind of saw where it went and all that good fun stuff but yeah got done with that went back outside let the dogs hung out in the evening got the dogs all fed up and stuff and the little dogs that he eats like this almost like a liver smell and stuff god it stinks so bad but overall dogs are doing good everybody's having fun and just chilling out for the most part so anyway that's all i got for right now we'll talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching